Hi, this is Arthur from the Minute Review Show. If you have a minute, I have an opinion. Cafe Bench is a cafe located in Flushing, Auburndale neighborhood in Queens. It's located in an area with plenty of restaurants and serves as a great place to get coffee and dessert. We visited after having lunch in the neighborhood and found a very inviting and lively cafe. The lighting, in fact, made this place truly inviting. The menu starts with drinks such as coffee, specialty coffees, lemonades, and smoothies. If you're looking for a meal, they have 13 types of savory crepes, such as bacon and mushroom crepe, and the beef skillet crepe. If you're only looking for dessert, there are 17 varieties of sweet crepes. You're sure to find a crepe that you'll like. Today we're at Cafe Bench, a um, dessert place a place where you can get a little coffee, some uh, other types of sweets, and um, this is what the menu looks like. And uh, from what I can tell around here, uh, it's a very nice hangout place. The uh, tables are actually huge, and uh, there's about 10 of them here, and um, it's a very comfortable place. I don't feel rushed in here. Uh, what you do here is that you just pick up a menu where you order, up front, go to the counter, and then tell them exactly what you want. And then they give you a little buzzer, and then uh, when the buzzer rings, then you go pick up your food. You ordered the Elvis, which is a chunky peanut butter, almonds, and banana crepe. The Elvis doesn't look like much, but when you start eating it, it will fill you up quickly. Today I ordered the Elvis crepe. <laughs> Why is it called Elvis? Because he loved bananas and peanut butter. And so, um, instead of this being a sandwich, which is an Elvis sandwich, this is an Elvis script. I'm gonna try some of that right now. So I'm gonna cut right into the peanut butter, the crepe, and the bananas with a sprinkling of almonds. Let's see what this tastes like. Aesthetically, is very pleasing. There's also a bunch of um, a bunch of powdered sugar that's put on top of it. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm. Nice and warm. And what I can say is that the sign of a good crepe is that it's very eggy and it's very chewy. There's a lot of chewy factor to it. The crepe must not taste like flour. It must not taste like bread or pancake. It has to, has to, has to have that chewy consistency. And I have to say, this has a lot of chewy consistency. It's very nice. You know, the more I taste my Elvis crepe, the more I appreciate it. There are pieces of this that are crispy, which is unusual in a crepe. And, uh, but it provides a very nice texture. And another thing that I discovered is that it's very filling. It makes me feel full when I eat it with every bite. And I feel like it's very substantial. Like every bite of it is a lot to chew through. And uh, it's very satisfying. And there's a whole lot of it. I mean, it's not a giant crepe by any means, but uh, there's a whole lot of it. And uh, it's very satisfying. We ordered the Sweet Forest Crepe, which is a strawberry sweet red bean azuki sauce and green tea ice cream with choco drizzle and almond crepe. The Sweet Forest Crepe is deceptively substantial, filled with delicious Asian-themed ingredients. Okay, the next one I'm going to try is the Sweet Forest Crepe. Now this one has green tea ice cream, some azuki bean sauce, and a drizzle of chocolate. So uh, let's give this a try. I'm gonna cut into a piece of it. Now, this is a challenge because the uh, ice cream has melted a little bit, but uh, I'm going to put a little bit of everything in there. I'm gonna put some of that um, red bean sauce here, drop it onto the um, crepe, and give this a try. Everything in one bite. Mm. Okay. I can tell you immediately that the one, the dominant flavor here is that green tea ice cream. Now the uh, matcha is extremely strong. 
So, um, you know, some people like that because it's not too sweet, um, but it tastes very, it has a little bit of the bitterness of a uh, unprocessed matcha. It's actually very good. So, I feel that if you're looking for a dessert that's not as sweet, this is the way to go. The um, red bean sauce actually has chunks of red bean in it. It's not a pure sauce and um, it has that gritty taste to it, which uh, is what you taste when you crush the red bean under my tongue, which is what I uh, just did. And uh, it's not bad. The, uh, also, the uh, crepe is exactly the same as my other Elvis crepe. And um, there's not any powdered sugar on this one. So that's another difference between this one and the other crepes. We also ordered the Jasmine Love A Lot Bear, which is iced jasmine beer and cubes with milk. This drink turned out to be stunning in looks with the frozen jasmine beer floating in milk. The jasmine tea in the ice cube was sweet. I just had a sip of the drink and it was a bit sweeter than I'd like. As for the cheesecake, my companion said it was milky and creamy. Okay, what can I say about this place? Uh, Cafe Bench. It's my first time here and um, it looks like a very, very nice hangout place. I feel no pressure to leave. It's not, I mean, it's kind of crowded, but you know, you, when it comes to places uh, like this, sometimes you feel, oh, you know, I need to uh, hang out for only 10 minutes and then go. But, you know, people over here seem pretty chill from what I can tell. And uh, the food is good. Uh, crepes are the main thing on the menu. And the from the two that I tried, they do it very well. And um, the uh, thing that I found most interesting about the crepe is that uh, the parts that are just taken off the uh, griddle, uh, there's a little crispiness to it, which is pretty nice. It's something that is uh, not too common, but uh, that's a nice little twist. Um, the crepe that I had with the peanut butter and the bananas, it uh, was really delicious, super filling. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gotten that one, but I feel stuffed now. But um, it's the right size and uh, it's uh, the right price. Most of the crepes are here are between 10 to, to uh, $13. And uh, we might like a, if you like a nice sweet treat after dinner or after lunch, you can always come here. And uh, it's a, a real place to be. If you like this video, I have many other videos out here in the same area. Uh, we're, today we're out in Queens. And uh, just check out my playlist at my home page. Thank you. The final bill came out to be. $41.11.